Hi guys, I'm back with the haul. I just did I just did my um face and did a tutorial. I used my NARS Lumin Lumin Alt mm, mm. Um the NARS new um foundation in um what is it called all day luminous i use that foundation with my beauty blender because the the other times i've used it i um used it with my um with a brush so this is the first time me using it with a beauty blender i like it i just not fond of the, some other things i put on my face let's get into it um i bought this from sephora that's uh, sephora no i call i i bought this from Stila.com and this is their um, contour palette I use this today I'm not sure if I don't I'm not really digging it <laughs> um, it's really smooth and it's very very creamy yeah. I mean I mean super creamy like it's really really creamy um I just didn't it just um I don't know, something with my skin, it just, I don't know, it just, mm. it blend out really nicely, but the pigmentation wasn't there. Maybe that's what it is. The pigmentation wasn't there. This was the first time for me to use this today. Um, I still had to keep packing it on underneath my eye because I felt like it was, you know, it wasn't really covering my um, little dark circles I have up under my eye. And... I just kept packing it on and it just it was creamy I mean I like the creaminess of it but it was just it was like, like gone and then I had to reapply and then a darker contour shade let me do a swatch of that too still creamy still felt like it just you know floated away um Cause I'm, I'm basically comparing it to the Anastasia one that I bought and I just love that one and it just looks so pretty I just think this one is just maybe not for my skin probably like because I'm oily maybe this is just not working probably because of that or something so I'm thinking I'll probably just put this in my kit um yeah I probably put this in my kit this will do better for somebody probably with drier skin and not you know, not me. He's not working for me right now. Um, this is only the first time I used it, but maybe I do it. I'm gonna probably use it one more time. But I just, I, looking at my face right now, I just, I just don't like it right now. So let me. I'm just gonna grab things that's like on the on the side of me. I ordered some brushes from Morphe or Morphe brushes. So I got these three brushes. I got the five, the M511, like that. I got this big one. This is M510. And I got M441. They all white brushes. Crease, um, these two, you know, for you know the crease, crease work, and I got this one because I thought it would be cool. This like hair coming out of it. I thought it would be cool for um, when I do my highlighter, and um, you know, uh, just highlighter. It smells funny, but um, <laughs> um, any other things I could possibly think of. I can't think of right now to use use for use with it but it is kind of fat and fluffy so yeah I got these three um, brushes from Morphe um I really do like um I have some other brushes that I, I bought from them before and I really do like them um of course you've seen this if you've seen one of my um, my makeup tutorial. This is my Anastasia contour palette. This is in deep. I've used this in my um, video. Um, I really, really like this um, this cream contour. It's drier than um, 
the Anastasia um, Stila one. Takes, you know, like this is really, like it's much drier. Oh, let me, ooh. it's much drier. It's like, where I put it? Right here. It's right there. It's much drier than the um, Stila one. And I think that's probably why it works for my skin because I am oily. But I am loving this. Okay, I'm not even, I don't know why I put it back in the sleeve. Like, that took, took, took too long for that. Um, I ordered something from UrbanDecay.com. Um, their packaging is cute. Um, I ordered the, um, their powder, or their foundation powder, but I want to use it to set my foundation. Oh, this is like hard to get out. Come on. Okay, I got dark neutral. There it is right there. Um, I think the camera, the light is really taking out some of the brownness in it because it's not super um yellow. It's very, very like a dark brown. You're not gonna see that, but um is, um, I can't wait to try this, this setting powder. I also bought. Oh, you're gonna get finger like marks all over this. Um, also bought a glitter from them. It's a liquid. It's called um, Distortion. It's like white with like pink and purple glitters all through it. So I got that. an order with um, ColourPop and I got some of their new blushes and I bought some lipsticks and I also got um, some blushes I'm trying to get these lipsticks out of the little containers okay I got three lipsticks um, I got, it's called Grind, it's a purple, um, Cake, it's a satin, and Illyria, it's a red. This is the red, Illyria, Cake. This is the purple right here. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, and that's a matte. So I got two mattes and a satin. Also got their blushes. I don't know why, but I was just like, oh, that's cute. You know, I'm a sucker. So I got four blushes. I got Cheerio. Okay, the whole pan is like stuck inside the thing, so we're gonna go past that one. This is Tonic. I swatched some of this. This is so pretty. So, um, a very pr pretty coral color. Um, I got Pegacorn, or yeah, Pegacorn, which is like a few, um, 
a purple fuchsia color. Ah, I said it right. Purple fuchsia. Couldn't get that word out. Um, then I got Swift. I don't know why, but it looks like a dark brown color. I'm gonna swatch it. Let me use my other hand. Yeah, it's like a brown color with um some peach to it. I don't know. I think like someone lighter could like contour with this. It's so pretty. But yeah, I want to try this out. I'm really excited about that. I want to get this color out of the top. Here we go. Okay, this is Cheerio. So yeah, really excited about using these. Oh, I wish you could see how crazy all of this is. It doesn't make any sense. Oh shoot, okay. I ordered some foundation from um, Face Atelier. I, I always wanted to purchase some stuff from there. Um, I ended up getting Face Atelier Pro Ultra Foundation. And I got um, Zero Plus Plus. And it's just because I feel like some, some of my foundations, um, my YSL, one of my YSLs, and I think my Dolce Gabbana, one of those is like a little too dark. Or even when I mix um, the other two together, it's still not as dark as I want it. So I was like, I get this and I could just add a tad bit of darkness into the foundation. Okay. Also bought Zero Plus. I'm just everything's dropping I got zero plus I think this is my my um skin color I'm not sure I wanted to get one that was like actual foundation I can use because I don't know I just I am obsessed with foundations and I just been like covering these for like such a long time and if it's too light I can always add this to it and I can add this to other things so I was just like oh they you know I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now <laughs> Okay, I went to Sephora, I returned, um, what did I return? Oh, my eyeshadows. I returned my eyeshadows that I got from Sephora that was, um, um, a dupe that I already had and one that was, um, broken. So, going into to Sephora is never good. No, it is good, but, you know. You end up looking at other things so I basically exchanged that um that um I already forgot again those eyeshadows for some Sephora lipsticks so I bought um the things off I shouldn't have I got number 14 they have number they have names but the names was on the little packaging I just tore off this is number 14 this is number four and this one is number eight so let me switch I was hearing so many good things about these so I had to like pick some up I have to see what was all the hype about. I think they were $13, so they're much cheaper than um, the um, Anastasia's um, um, liquid lipsticks. So these are, okay. These are it <laughs> right there. So yeah, um, I tried on this one when I was leaving. I was in a car, I was impatient. I wanted to try this one out. This one, cause some things came alive, and I was like, I'm gonna pick those up. And I got African Violet. This is still the Sephora brand. 
And I got 15 um, Polish Purple. Look how dark that is. Yes. I'm not going to swatch these because, you know, this was just silly because like, you still can't still really see anything. So I got these two. So I got one, two, three, four. So I got five of Sephora's um, lipsticks. I'm going to do a lipstick video with these. Um, yeah, these are really cool. And maybe I'll throw in the ColourPop ones. So I also purchased um, some Stila lipsticks because um, after I got... Um, Patina, yeah, Patina. I was like, these are amazing. Actually, <laughs> these are better than Anastasia's um, lip liquid lipsticks. Much, much better. I mean, the 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 filling on your lips, everything is just so different with these. So I ended up getting. What are you? Bellissima. That's number five. And I got Flora Flory. Number seven from Stila Cosmetics. Yeah, Stila. I got these two. It's very light pink. And I got um, a, um, a darker pink color. I had to. And actually, the on my lips, the patina comes off a little bit more um, browny, pinky on me. So it's a little bit darker than I actually thought. So I was like, I get this one and this one. And I actually want to get some more. I'm not sure yet, but I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. But I do want um um Kat Von D's um liquid lipsticks. I've been, you know, hearing good things about those for a while too. So um I think I'm gonna add all these into one big video. So okay. I ordered from Mac and I was using one of my old brushes and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to get another brush. I, the 217, I think they made the 217 differently. Wish I had. I don't even know where it's at right now, but um, it's mine has been through it all. I had that one for a couple years now and I wanted to get another one. So I got another 217 brush and I got two um, pressed pigments from MAC. I bought Enlightening this is a silver and I got the black color which is in jet culture is black i saw this gorgeous girl on instagram she had this on her lid and some other stuff but all i saw was like what that's that so i was like i had to get this um in my collection Get all into that, and I also got another thing of brushes from Morphe Cosmetics. These brushes right here. Now, these brushes, I think these brushes are the same brushes that's on um, so Sears.com. I forgot what her name is, and I can find out or whatever again. I'll put it somewhere, but she was saying that they had some brushes at sephora.com not sephora um sears.com that was for nine dollars 9.99 and i missed the sale so it's like 25 now and another one is like 20 i think 19.99 but they're they look just like these brushes and with the you know the white and um Okay, they might be the same. I'm not sure, but I think they are. So I got these are they these are from Morphe Cosmetics, and there's there's six brushes, and they're supposed to be contour <clears throat> brushes. So I guess this one is for the face. This one is either you know you can use for you know sculpting your contour or 
doing underneath your eye and this one is um like you can put your uh, powder down if you want and then these can you know work to do under eye work or whatever but yeah i got these and they are really really soft they're all of these are synthetic they're really really soft really really soft so yeah i got those so getting into the fun part of this haul um i the things i'm going to show you right now i did not buy all of these all at once i did not so i bought hair i ordered from princess hair shop and i got the what are you called the armenian yeah armenian um natural so i got it like kind of in a straight but you see how it is right now um it bends this is a 16 inch i'm looking down at the um little card um this is 16 inch i bought this this bundle i bought two weeks ago and that was like 150 two or 140 something i'm not sure but i got this bundle um at this bundle last like two weeks ago and i waited to get paid again and i i ordered two 18 inches let me get all this i ordered two 18 inches and a 20 inch So I got um, four bundles of hair. All Armenian. And I have a closure that I bought last year. I was going to purchase this hair last year when I got my um, Mercy Hair Company. So I ordered my closure first. That's why I tend to do. I don't buy um, all of the hair all at once. I um, usually purchase one bundle. Usually I only do three. But this hair, I seem like I've seen different people, uh, uh, um, gurus or whoever, other people on YouTube, and sometimes it looked too thin with three, even with the closure. So I was like, I just go ahead and get the um, fourth bundle. So I bought this hair. I bought the closure last year and I also bleached the closure too last year um I was going to get this hair last year but every time I went to to purchase it or just to check or whatever they never had the limps that I wanted I normally go for um 18 a 20 an 18 and a 16 and then I get the closure um they never had my limps it was like crazy and um, I guess it was really, really popular at the time, so I just waited. I was like, I just wait. I already bought the closure, so I was like, I just get the hair at another period. So I just went with Mercy Hair Company. Good decision, because I really did love that hair, and I still do. Um, so um, I noticed that they were um, had the limps that I normally get in stock regularly now, so I went ahead and pur purchased it, and I'm glad. Actually, I really am glad that I, I waited, because... They're, they have a sale going on. It's called PH New Year or whatever. And you get 20% off. So I got a pretty good deal for all of the bundles of hair. Even the um, the three I bought together and then the one. So yeah, I you know, I think I've made a good decision to wait. So uh, I think her sale is till through the whole year so that's even better that's really cool and cool of her for that um i am excited to make a wig i am like like fiending um i am going to color this hair um i'm not going to use bleach but i am going to use um i have like I bought um, 50 volume developer and I have some 40. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. And then I'm going to use um, some color. I'm just going to use developer and color and I think it's called Cajun Spice. I'm going to um, start coloring the hair today. I have, I had issues with my mailman. It's supposed to came Monday, 
but my mail my mailman is a dick and um I had to reschedule it for them to sh um bring it back out so now I'm kind of like a day behind so I'm going to color this hair um tonight and then I'm going to uh, whenever when it's dry I think it'll be dry by tomorrow after I finish coloring everything then I'm going to start um making my wig so this was my haul and thank you for watching and you know all these crazy swatches I got on my arm right now and bye till next time and thank you for watching